welcome to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here. I've got a little special helper here with me. I have had this channel for a little while, but didn't really have the time to do much with it. So I'm so excited to really get started now that things have kind of slowed down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a mama of four, two teenage boys, 17 and 13, and two yeah. girls, 10, and this little one just turned four. So we're super busy, but we're so excited to like really get this channel going. Hi guys, it's so. <laughs> and we're hoping to start with a decorate I with can't. me and some cleaning and get some Christmas put up as it is getting close. I'm Mom, so excited to decorate what? for Christmas. Mom, what? And so without further ado, Mom. let's begin. So I'm currently upstairs right now my plan was to put on my uh, cleaning video before this part one of Christmas, but we are having really bad internet problems right now. So I'm gonna kind of split the videos up into two. So this one will be part one, decorating for Christmas. We're gonna do our tree upstairs here in our bedroom. And then hopefully the next video I'll upload will be the cleaning video and then hopefully part two of Christmas and maybe part three. We'll see how many it takes. We'll probably have to break them into smaller videos right now until our internet is fixed. So anyway, without further ado, let's begin. All right, so we had dinner and it has, I mean, it's only seven o'clock, but it's completely pitch black dark here. So I went ahead and shut the curtains to try to not get like a glare, but um, I got the tree out. And it's gonna go right here in the middle. Um, and then we'll open the blinds and hopefully you can see the tree from the road. Uh, usually you can see it. But I'm just really hoping that the lights work. So here we go. So glad the lights work. Yay. Now I've got a broken branch down here on the bottom. If you can see that hanging out down there, I probably maybe can kind of tie it up with a string or something. Yeah, I think that would work. I'll tie it up with some a little bit of string or wire or something like that. But we'll do that later. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got this beaded garland from my mom. She's had it for several years and I just love it. It's really elegant. It's got a ribbon kind of woven in the beads and it's still in great shape. So I just continue to use it because it's so pretty. Not sure if there's really a method to wrapping it. I just kind of go around like a candy cane stripe, kind of downward, and then space it out um, as I go or take a look at it after I'm done and kind of fix it so it kind of has even spacing between the uh, garland. I got these glittery stars, I think at Menards a couple years ago. They were so inexpensive. I think there was like maybe six in a pack and just for a couple dollars. They're like, they're plastic with glitter, but from a distance you can't tell and they look so pretty. That's what I like to try to do, something that looks really pretty, but is inexpensive and on a budget. These next ornaments coming up I got at Menards and I think they all were either around 70 cents to a dollar. They were so inexpensive and they're so pretty and purple and glittery just like I was looking for. I got them about two years ago but I saw a lot of them there last year and they just add a, a glitzy touch to the tree. shoes I got at Bernard's as well and I just thought they were so cute and went with the tree and I got one for each of us me and the two girls since this is kind of our glittery glitzy tree So I got this idea from my mom she would buy a strand of garland like the beaded garland and then cut it up in even pieces 
and then drape it over the tree branch like the trees like wearing jewelry or something I just thought it was so pretty and kind of gave it like a really elegant touch an outfit change here <laughs> I went ahead and stopped and took time to take my shower and so I'd be ready to get the kids ready for bed and so pardon the pajama pants and the wet hair but I just wanted to finish this tree up tonight and just get it done So this tree skirt here actually come from my mom as well. She gave it to me a couple years ago. And I just love using it with this tree because it matches it so well. And it's got the two cutest little snowmen on the front and I love snowmen. So we just kind of leave it like that. We don't really put anything under this tree just because the tree skirt's so cute. Finished, except I've got to fix that little branch at the bottom. I just remembered that. And I want to run the sweeper here. Pat Hubby put the star on top. I got this star at Hobby Lobby, I think maybe two years ago. It might be a little bit crooked, but it's kind of bouncy like that. It's like the only purple star I could find. I want to open the blinds so that the tree can be seen from the road. All set. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you wouldn't mind to give me a like and a subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm hoping to have a decorate with me um, for Christmas part two and three coming up real soon. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful night. God bless.